Hello, YouTube world. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about Barack Obama, who is the AC, the man of sin, the son of perdition. I couldn't be any more certain about that. I mean, as close to 100% certain as you could possibly get. And um, we're going to dig right into that. But I want to just show you a, a couple of headlines first relating to... Um, a video I just put up earlier today on uh, UFO disclosure, you know, why we're seeing all this UFO disclosure really suddenly these last couple of years, but the last couple of months, it has really, really, really been intensifying. And I really believe that this is predictive programming that they are really getting people ready uh, for an explanation of the rapture that when, you see millions of Christians disappear and almost all of the children disappear that they're going to need to have some explanation. And I believe it's very likely that explanation is going to be that these people were all abducted by aliens. So just want to show you a couple other headlines. This was, I think, within the last week on Google. You see here, you know, the Google search bar. Watch now. NASA search for life beyond earth you know uh it, it, making it no uh, no secret what a priority it is that they're searching for life beyond earth and uh this is a good one to look at because this shows you it goes beyond the mainstream this agenda so this is the next news network on youtube i think they're they are only on youtube and online um and we see here, you know, breaking news, whistleblower exposes hidden alien aircraft. So, you know, I, I don't know if this is willful deception or they've just kind of fallen into this trap. But we see we see even these alternative news networks like Next News, Next News Network. And, and I will watch, uh, you know, I'll, I'll look at their channel once in a while. You know, they'll occasionally have some good news stories. But this goes to show you, this agenda goes far wider than the mainstream media trying to condition and brainwash people with these UF aliens and UFOs to get them ready to buy the big lie concerning the rapture and then what will happen in the tribulation period. And we're seeing this just constantly on Fox News. This is about a month ago. UFO spotted lurking above U.S. largest marine base. We got aliens. I didn't read this, but we got aliens. You know, there you go, seeing that how they've really stepped this up, like I mentioned in, in my uh, previous video earlier today. You know, they used to just talk about UFOs, but now the focus is aliens. They're not just saying you know, what are these UFOs? What, are the, what is this phenomena? But they are pushing the aliens, saying, no, these aliens exist and they're here because they're getting ready to introduce them. It's all predictive programming. That is wise because they're going to bring the aliens here, but they're not really aliens. They're fallen angels and demons, you know, uh, most likely demon spirits in, in chimera bodysuits that they've, uh, you know, specifically, uh, you know, designed and created these bodies for them to dwell in uh, so that they can operate in the physical realm. But that is a whole nother story for another day. And then once again, NBC News, uh, this is a headline along with uh, a video I played, More Signs of Extraterrestrial Life. A new high-level report on UFOs from a Harvard astronomer says alien motherships could be flying through our solar system. And I talked a little bit about that in the other video. Uh, notice the use of the wordage alien motherships. Uh, this is right out of the movie Independence Day. So looks very possible that that could be their plan after the rapture is to have one large alien mothership and then a lot of smaller alien ships going out all over the world and hovering above major cities to make contact 
I don't know that, but I think that could be a likely scenario playing out in the tribulation period. Okay, just want to go through that, a few more examples of, of UFO headlines. And you see them all the time. Just keep your eyes peeled. That was my point, is just to show you that, that this UFO alien agenda is just being pushed all over the place. And it's not coincidence, it's predictive programming so that they can lie and give a false explanation of what happened at the rapture when Jesus Christ takes his bride home. And also, to, to it looks likely to set up events, uh, lies for the tribulation period to get people to follow these aliens who will likely be uh, saying that people need to follow Obama and the false prophet because they will likely be promising to usher in this new golden age, this time of world peace, just like the Bible says in Revelation, what the AC is going to do. And so now, uh, you know, the main topic of the video, I, I just want to talk about a little more about Obama. And specifically, um, I made a, a couple, uh, uh, two videos. Um, this has been a couple weeks, I think two weeks ago, about exposing Obama as the AC, the man of sin, the son of perdition that will soon come to power, the son of the devil that will rule this world until the battle of Armageddon, when he shall perish at the hands of Jesus Christ. Well, not his hands, just by his word. All Jesus Christ will need to do is speak his word uh, to defeat him and kill him. But, um, you know, this is something I forgot to mention um, in my two videos I did. And a commenter had mentioned this, and I, I uh, was thinking about it, and I was like, yeah, I should should mention this. And, uh, you know, we hear the abomination of desolation uh, mentioned twice in Scripture. Let me read those verses, Daniel eleven thirty one. Well, it's mentioned more than twice, actually. I think it's mentioned at least three times. But let me read two verses, Daniel eleven thirty one, And arms should stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. Then we have Jesus Christ uh, speaking, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. And... This is going to be three and a half years, midway through the tribulation period, midway through the seven years, uh, midway through the seven-year agreement that Obama is going to make with the world, particularly Israel, that he is going to walk into the third temple, which has not yet been completed, and he is going to declare himself God and presumably set up an idol and say there is no other God, there's no Jehovah, We'll say this to the Jews, and will declare himself to be God, and will take away their animal sacrifice that will be going on. And isn't it fitting, abomination, that Obama's name sounds and looks just like it? Abomination, abomination. Um, you know, don't don't ever say that God doesn't have a sense of humor. He puts it right there in, you know, in our face, among other things. It, if you weren't believing all the many, many, you know, other clues that I mentioned in the other two videos and what I'm sure a lot of other people have mentioned as well. Um, but, you know, uh, abomination. Uh, we, we've got the book, Obamination. We've got the album, Abomination. I'd never heard of these guys, low-key, low um, featuring Lakota, Samurai, Lupe, Fiasco, and Tupac. Uh, Tupac, I, I don't know what that's about, but uh, it, we see Abomination, the album cover. Um, once again, I think this is another album cover, the same album by low-key, Abomination. We see the short film, Obama Nation, um, I guess kind of a spoof on 
communism and Obama in power. And we've got a the painting abomination for sale. And, you know, I haven't had time to look at this, but I'd imagine you'd find all kinds of interesting symbolism. In this one, you can notice here's the man saying, need work, depressed. Uh, the police officer, depressed drinking. Looks like George Soros, Gaddafi, Bin Laden. You know, the whole fake Bin Laden story and then Obama being the hero killing Bin Laden, which was all a spoof. Um, but I don't know. You could probably, I'll bet there'd be some interesting stuff. Uh, looks like the World Trade Center going down. Uh, I'm sure there'd be some interesting stuff. And then we see, this is probably some symbolism here. It looks kind of like the flags of the United Nations. And there, you know, United Nations headquarters in New York, maybe showing the symbolism of Obama being the Secretary General of the United Nations ruling the world. But, you know, here we go again, the painting Obama Nation. It's an abomination, an abomination of desolation. And, you know, Obama's name, it, it just, everything about it uh, tells you who he is. You know, the abomination of desolation. And as I covered in my previous um, videos, um, you know, the name Barak in Hebrew, uh, means lightning. Strong's H1301. Barak. Barak. Barak means lightning in Hebrew. Luke 10, 18, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. This is the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. So, you know, Satan is, is very often symbolized as lightning. Um, you'll see that with entertainment, movies, musicians. You'll see that lightning bolt um, all the time. You'll, you'll see often musicians will paint lightning bolts on their faces. They'll get lightning bolt tattoos. They'll put it on their albums. You'll see a lot in movies. Well, that's what that lightning bolt represents is Satan. And how fitting is it that Satan's son, the one that he will possess midway through the tribulation, that his name would mean lightning, Barak, Barak, abomination of desolation. And, you know, if you're not sold on this yet and you're still on the fence about who the AC is, the world ruler, the man of sin, the son of perdition, that's going to rule this world through the United Nations for seven years right after the rapture. I couldn't encourage you enough to check out uh, Bible Codes Unse Unsealed by Sean Mitchell. And he's the, he's the only trustworthy source on the Bible Codes. I'm not aware of anyone else out there on the entire earth that is trustworthy in, in terms uh, of writing Bible codes. Uh, like I mentioned, Eliyahu Rips, a, a Jewish man that invented the tech, that, well, had a part in inventing the technology, one of the best mathematicians in the world. Um, he's able to make reliable codes, but he's not a believer is the problem. So there's bias there. He does not believe in Jesus Christ. We pray that Eliyahu Rips would be saved in Jesus' name. But Sean, uh, Sean, Eliyahu Rips and Sean, to my knowledge, are the only two that are, are really dependable, that understand the computer program, the Hebrew and the Aramaic well enough uh, to be able to write legitimate code. And Sean's codes are amazing. I, I've not seen a single error anywhere where I think he's really onto something and I don't use the word lightly. I believe this man is a modern-day prophet, Sean Mitchell, and I don't throw that uh, I don't throw that word around lightly. I'm not. I don't think I've mentioned anyone else in another video at any time that I thought was a prophet, but I think this man, Sean Mitchell, is a prophet. As I mentioned, he has one more chapter to write in this Bible code book. He's written six so far. 
and I couldn't cur encourage you enough to check out the last uh, section or chapter, Barack Obama and Bible prophecy. It's over a hundred codes on Barack Obama. This is right out of the Bible, okay? This is from the Hebrew and the Aramaic, and you can read the introduction on how he gets these codes, okay? It it comes for, it comes a computer program must be used to get the more complex codes, but he does it by finding skips, uh, equidistant letter skips in the scriptures. This all comes from the scriptures, and it will spell out words. And then uh, for, to make it easier on us, Sean will translate from the Hebrew and the Aramaic. So, you know, when he finds the word, the first letter to the second letter will we'll have a skip of, for example, let's say 10 letters, then the second letter to the third letter, and other 10 letters, and every single skip will be 10. So every skip is uniform, whether it be one letter or 5,000. Some of these codes, the skips are, you know, 50,000 letters, which means one letter, 50,000 skips uh, of letters to the second letter, 50,000 skips to the third letter, 50,000 skips uh to the next letter and then that will spell out the name uh obama you know in hebrew or whatever word it may be um and then sean will translate it uh to english so that we're able to read it because i don't know about you but I, I don't read hebrew or aramaic but sean does he's uh he is uh very literate in both hebrew and aramaic which is uh why he's able to do this so I couldn't uh, I couldn't encourage you enough if you're on the fence about Obama being the AC, the man of sin, the son of perdition, to check out this last section in Bible Codes Unsealed by Sean Mitchell, it, it, Barack Obama in Bible Prophecy. And I, I just wanted to mention this. Uh, I, I did a video uh, now. It's been over five years ago. And uh, I'm just looking at my the, the channel here, and this will just show you how to get to it. Um, if you have any inter any interest, a little more confirmation, it, it's a ways back, so you've got to scroll way down. But this is just you know my channel, Live for God, and uh, you'll see the the video is called Tribulation Period, Obama Ruling World, FEMA Camps, Execution Lines. Uh, I, this was published on March 6, 2018. Here's what it looks like, the thumbnail on the video right here. And then um, here's the actual video. I, I know it's not great quality. I just filmed it on my phone. Tribulation period dream, Obama ruling the world, FEMA camps, execution lines. And this was a dream that I had. Uh, it was uh, early part, I think, of 2018 about Obama being the, the, ru the world ruler, the AC, the man of sin. And he was ruling the world. Uh, he was in power in the United States. And it was a martial law situation. There were FEMA camps. And there were uh, all the people that believed in the Bible and Christians were being sent to... Um, FEMA type camps and many were being executed. Um, and if you have an interest, you can, you can check out this video. It's just, I tell you about the dream I had. Uh, keep in mind, I'd only known the Lord for about two years at that point. So if I say anything stupid or out of line uh, with scripture, uh, no, that's, that's probably why I, I did not know the Bible, uh, you know, very well. Um, I know the Bible a lot better now than I did then. So if I say anything and you're like, man, what's he saying? That that doesn't seem to be in line with scripture. Um, that that would be why, because I, I had not known the Lord. It had only been two years and known the Lord at that time. But, you know, when I had that dream, um, it was an incredible dream, but I, I never want to put any false information out there or act like I'm prophesying something, I, I wouldn't want to mislead people. So I was very clear that I was not saying that this was a dream from God or a prophecy at that point. I just thought it was a very interesting dream, and I wanted to share it because I thought if it was a dream that God gave me, 
I wanted to be obedient and share it, but I did not want to declare it like a thus saith the Lord moment, or, you know, it was something that I knew was directly from the Lord in case it was my own mind. But looking back, I can tell you uh, over five years later, I believe absolutely that this was a prophetic dream I was given from the Lord. Now, that 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 doesn't make me anybody special. I'm just a nobody, an average Joe. And let me tell you, many other people have had similar dreams, and that's the point I want to get to. There's nothing special about me. I just happen to be one of the people that was given these dreams among many. So that was from five years ago. Uh, you can read the date here, March 6, 2018, Tribulation Period Dream, Obama Ruling the World. And you can check that out if you like, uh, you know, maybe a little further evidence for you to help you see that this is, in fact, who Obama is. Uh, another man that has had multiple dreams of very similar fashion of Obama being the man of sin, the son of perdition, the AC, uh, follower of the way, worship Jesus is the channel, and his name is Stephen. He's a dear brother. Uh Great, great brother. And, um, you know, he, he, uh, he's talked about many of these dreams and I think it was 2008 when he, uh, this was revealed to him. I, I, I may be not exactly right on that, but I believe he said that the Holy Spirit revealed to him that Obama was the AC, the man of sin in 2008, right when he was elected. Um, and so anyhow, and Stephen, uh, he, he doesn't really uh, make videos on a particular subject. He just preaches every day. Um, so I, I can't direct you to, I, to which specific videos he's talked about Obama in his dreams, but he does it a lot. So, you know, if you... Uh, if you watch his videos, you know, I, I'd imagine every every couple of videos, you'll probably hear him mention something about that. But that so Stephen uh, is just one brother. Stephen is just one of many others that was given, um, you know, a prophetic type dream about Obama, you know, being the man of sin. And uh I think it was uh, right when he was elected, when Stephen said the Holy Spirit revealed to him that Obama uh, was that man, the AC, the man of sin that shall come to power for seven years. And uh, he has received, had received several dreams about that. Now, at that time, I remember I was a lost man in 2008. I was a truther, but I had not been saved by Jesus Christ at that time. And... I remember watching the Democratic National Convention and seeing this, you know, the enormous white horse, the Bronco, and I was watching it with my mother, and it had a profound impact on both of us, and I told her, and I knew almost nothing out of the Bible, but I told her, look at that white horse, and I said, that's... Uh, that, you know, symbolizes the anti-C-H-R-I-S-T, the A-C, uh, the man of sin. And uh, I, I saw and I said, man, do you, do you think that maybe this guy Obama is the A-C, the man of sin from the Bible? I, I said, wow, could, could this guy be the A-C, the man of sin from the Bible, that that sure seems like a sign that that white horse, that white Bronco up there, because I know that's from Revelation. And I was as lost as a golf ball in high weeds. I was at that point, I was someone whose default was hell. So even someone as lost as me uh, could see what was going on at that point. And my mother, uh, when Obama said uh, fundamentally transform America and saw that, uh, my mother, who was lost as well at the time, uh, you know, she, uh, it, it really had an effect on her where she was thinking the same thing, like this is a landmark moment and not for good. And then concerning people having dreams about Obama being the AC, the man of sin, uh, the son of perdition, 
I just want to play a, a really short clip, and this is from Fault Grace, Fault Line Grace. This is a channel I've recommended several times. Um, I, it's just a fantastic channel. I, I watch his sermons every day. This is one of the main channels I watch on YouTube. Uh, Pastor Pastor J.B. Watkins, Johnny Boy Watkins. I, I I don't know anybody out there that knows the Bible any better than him, so I couldn't suggest his channel enough. But I just want to play a real short clip where he's talking about this, and this was from uh, last night's sermon. It'll be the worst of the worst for them. Alicia says lots of people had Obama dreams around 2015 to 18. That's why we believed the rapture was coming in back last year, seven years ago. Okay? Because it was all pointing to that. We had uh, Crimea and all this stuff that we see right now. It was all on stage. We had movement. I saw much more movement of military vehicles and stuff then. They were just getting them over there, getting everything ready. Okay? And so we were preaching, look up, look up, look up. And then the Bible code comes along and straightens it out. Straightens out our calendar. Straighten. We all know when it's coming, but now we know when it's coming. Amen? Praise God. The Bible says, praise God. 2015 to 18. That's why we believed the rapture was coming in. Back is on you, Israel, because of you. And they're going to know. They're, he caused them to know. And I make you a reproach unto the heathen and a mocking to all the countries around you. That'll start with the United States. We are going to be mocked. It'll be so humiliating for everybody who survived that first night. It'll be the worst of the worst for them. Alicia says lots of people had Obama dreams around 2015 to 18. That's why we believed the rapture. So if you heard that, lots of people had Obama dreams between 2015 to 2018. Okay. And, you know, once again, when did I have my dream? March 6, 2018. All right. And uh, Pastor JB, Pastor Johnny Boy Watkins is saying that exact same thing here. Lots of people had Obama dreams from 2015 to 2018. OK, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I don't like talking about myself. I'm only just trying to hopefully show just one more shred of evidence. I, I'm an absolute nobody. And God chooses nobody to reveal things to sometimes, you know, it's the most rejected, um, you know, unknown people in society that he'll reveal, you know, things to. And I'm one of those, you know, I'm, I'm a nobody, you, you know, uh, you wouldn't know me from any, any, anybody else, nothing really, you know, no notable accomplishments in my life. So, you know, myself and, and many others that this has been revealed to them in dreams. And I didn't want to, at the time, I, I didn't want to, you know, push it like it was some revelation from God. But I believe now, looking back, absolutely, that was a prophetic dream that was given to me from the Lord. And it's because I, I've, you know, heard of and, and heard from many others that have had similar dreams about Obama. And, to me, really, the the ultimate confirmation are these Bible codes uh, uh, by Sean Mitchell on this. And uh, pa Pastor JB, uh, Johnny Boy Watkins here, he, uh, he preaches uh, on the Bible and obviously the KGV, and he preaches on these Bible codes, uh, on what these Bible codes say. And on the Bible from out of them, where they come from. Uh, so he's a, he's very now, you know, the, he's the most knowledgeable person on these Bible codes besides Sean Mitchell. And, you know, m most people, I know the initial reaction when you mention these Bible codes is like, oh, I, I don't know. That's getting kind of out there. And this, this is a, uh, got to be just a creation of this person's mind. And, all I could say, man, is, is is give it a chance. You know, I, I really, I wasn't sure about it when I first looked at these. And the more I read them, I was just blown away. I, there, I couldn't find one single error anywhere in there. And I just learned so much from them. And it cleared me up um, some errors I'd had with the Bible. And it's just, uh, I, I have such a greater understanding 
of the Bible uh, since reading these codes. So I couldn't suggest that enough to read this last section of Barack Obama and Bible prophecy. And I'm just hoping that this clears it up for you. Um, My last question. And that you see uh, Obama for who he is. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that every one of you goes at the rapture. But part of why I'm doing this video is that if somehow you, you are left behind and don't go at the rapture, know who this man is and don't trust him, okay? Because it's going to look like it's not him. They're going to kind of hide him in the background. I... I think they're going to want to make it look like it's someone else uh, is the AC, the man of sin, the son of perdition, whether it be, you know, Putin, Macron, Xi, whoever, I don't know. But I think they're going to kind of, kind of going to hide Obama in the background. And it may not be real clear that he is who he is until halfway through the tribulation when he goes into the temple and declares himself to be God. But I'm showing you this that so you know ahead of time and aren't deceived that this is him. And a, a sign is going to be, it, I think it's very likely he's going to have a position in the United Nations that he's going to be uh, uh, some kind of title like the Secretary General of the United Nations. And him and Pope Francis will be working together uh, for world peace while you have, you know, war going on all over the place, famine. I mean, I think you're going to have the return of the Nephilim and hybrids, just insanity. Uh, the people that have have taken the sauce, uh, you know, and multiple times when you turn up the four plus one G, they may be essentially like zombies out there. It's going to be so crazy and terrible. You don't want any part of it, man. I just plead with you. If you're not saved, please be saved today. Uh, believe the gospel that Jesus Christ died to pay the price for all of your sins, past, present, and future, and that he gives you eternal life. And th this is a video I, I've never seen, but ob Abomination of Desolation. And, you know, once again, in one of these paintings, blasphemy with Barack Obama wearing the crown of thorns. So just want to put this one out there real quick. You know, Abomination of Desolation, Abomination I don't believe it's a coincidence. Everything about his name, just everything about him tells you who he is. And he's going to come to power uh, as the world ruler very, very soon. So God bless you all. And uh, Lord willing, I'll talk to you very soon.